So, yes, another Mr. B video. Well, you don't have to watch, but in case you want to know how to do these, uh, you can probably find them on YouTube, but this is just a real quick little way of doing it. So these are on the poetry books. I know sometimes these get lost. Um, and so I just wanted to make sure that I did a tutorial just to, uh, so you guys could learn how to do them real quick. And so we're going to start with two pieces of paper, just like this. I already pre-folded them because then I'm going to mess them up. So uh, you're going to fold them directly in half, just like this. You can use a ruler too, just kind of go over on both sides. And then same thing to the other one, just how they say, yeah, this would be a hamburger fold, right, I guess. And just kind of run your ruler through them, both sides. One side, one side, other side. Just so they can come out nice and smooth. You don't want to scrape them, I kind of scrape them right there. You don't want to do that. Then what you're going to do, you're going to line up, going to line them up about, I want to say about an inch. Maybe about half an inch, actually. Not so much, about this much. It's probably maybe like a third of an inch or so. And you want to line them up like this. See how they're all lined up. And you're going to put lines about an inch from the base. So here's the base right there. And you could do them a little bit wider. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be an inch, but just to keep them exact, about, about an inch away. So how much I put mine on. Let me make it a little bit clearer so you guys can see it. I'm not used to doing these types of videos, but about an inch away, just like that from the base, about an inch away from there. And you want to put two little lines. So I'm going to do it here. So about an inch away from the base, and you are going to make sure these are lined up. So just be really careful here. So you're just going to put two little lines at the top. So just like that. A little lights and they should be right aligned with one another and this is on the side that's not open this is on the closed side so this is the closed side right here if you did it make sure to go back and, and fix that and then you're going to do the same thing to the other side from the base with your ruler about an inch and then you're going to do the same two lines from the folded side not from the open side so this is what i mean by the open side this is the open side you don't want to do it on that side you want to do it on the side that's closed and here are your lines here's one on these this side and you see how it's about an inch away it's about an inch right there and about an inch right there okay now what you're going to do you're going to grab some scissors I have these little small scissors i have a small hand so they'll work <coughs> on one of them you're going to do a cut on both sides of the line they don't have to be big cuts. I would recommend very small cuts. So maybe about just right there. And what you're going to do on that same on that same cut line, you can do it from either side. It doesn't matter which one. You're just going to cut off. This is from the remember, this is from the close side. Just a little strip of. And again, I'm glad that didn't come out perfect. It doesn't have to come out perfect. You could cut it. But you don't want to cut a big old part. See how it's just like a little, like a little sliver, like a little, little part. And when you open it, it should look like that. It should have like a little, like a slit right down, down the middle. And it should be what do you do with the other part? Great question. You're gonna open it up. Remember those little lines that you did? You're gonna cut from the top up to that line, from here up to that line. So it's gonna it should look something like this. Some of you guys are probably starting to get it. So I'm going to cut from the bottom all the way up to that first line. I don't want to cut past it because then it's going to going to kind of mess up my book. I've already done one like that. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to cut right up to it. And again, it should be about an inch, right? Now, what you're going to do, this is the way I put it. Maybe you might find a better way of doing it. I like to fold it just like this. And I'll put it through the slit. See how that's the opening? I'll put it through the slit. I'm going to put, see how you have the slit down here? I'm gonna put it and I'm gonna insert it through here. So this one's gonna go right in through here. And then the top one is just gonna open. See how I put it right in through here? That went in just right there. And then the other one, I'm just gonna slide it through and you close your book just like that. 
and the kids should have a title page. No, I don't like white. Flip it over. Now you have blue. And so this could be the title page, or that could be the title page. Put their name, nice decoration, maybe a picture if they like. And then they're going to put six poems. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know this is a long, long time coming, but we've had a couple of days of working on this. But I just want to make sure that there's, uh, there's as many resources as we can. So we have this little book, and you can make it any color that you like. Uh, we had some other colors. I did one that was all pink. Nobody really wanted this one. It's okay. And again, if you find that you have construction paper at home, you either do it at home or these didn't make it, didn't make it home, everyone should have gotten one today. Now, if they're done, they might have already turned it in. But unless you saw them working on it or you heard about it, they're probably somewhere in their backpack. So I made sure that they got these in their backpack. Those of you that didn't take them home, I don't know what to say, but uh, everyone should have gotten one of these today. Now, if they left it behind, we'll have a little bit of time tomorrow, but I can't guarantee that we'll have enough time to be able to finish. So if we need more, if we need more time past tomorrow, we'll see uh, about maybe taking it home the day after. But it was due, it is due tomorrow. And again, this is how we make our little book. Little book. I could be constructed for you guys real quick. So again, we want to make sure that we put that that piece right in here. We could always fold it and take it out if we need to. We could always fold it. Fold it in this way. And kind of do the same type of taco fold or hot dog fold, if you will, and take it out. And it should just come out just like this. So how do I get this from that to that? I just fold it. And then that little slit would go and fit into this one right here. Let me show you. Now I, did con I deconstructed it so it's, it tore up a little bit. But that slit should go right in here first. And then if you fold it, the other one should slide into that top part right there. Should slide in, and then it makes the book. There we go. So, I wouldn't recommend deconstructing them too much because as you can see, they start do start to rip a little bit, so. But there you go. I made it longer than I needed to. <laughs> I hope this, uh, this uh, video helps out a little bit. But again, they should have gone home. If for whatever reason they did it, now you know how you do it. Now you know how to do it at home. So I hope this helps out a little bit and you guys have a good night. Thank you guys.